Hey, I'm Josh Beck with XMR Sports, and today we're going to go over the basic ways to use the smacker. Uh, first feature that we'll talk about here is it's got a basic calf stretch plate on it. Um, set it on the desired notch that you'd like down here, and put your hands on the top of these ears for support, and you just stand into that calf stretch. We recommend 20 seconds uh, as far as that goes. Um, next, we're going to take a look at the three rolling function that the, that the smacker has. And the first is going to be our hamstring. First step is to put it in a notch uh, that's suitable for you. And that notch is going to have your top of your quadricep roughly parallel to the ground um, whenever it's in the proper setting. So you may have to uh, play around with it a little bit and uh, to find the, the proper setting for the, for the hamstring. But uh, basically, brace yourself on the handles on the outside. The key here is to leave this lower leg member. Uh, a lot of times when folks first get on the smacker because the uh, roll or the pressure is getting up into the belly of the hamstring, they'll have a tendency to kick their leg out or curl it back under like that. Again, you sort of have to uh, force yourself to relax and keep that lower leg limber and then we can roll from the bend of the knee to the base of the hamstring and we recommend 20 repetitions from the bend of the knee to the base of the hamstring. And then if you need to come back to a problem spot to work out a trigger point, then uh, you come back and work on that afterwards. But we want to get a full 20 repetitions so we try to get pliability out of that entire muscle. Okay, one important thing is we also want to make sure that we roll both hamstrings, both calves, both quads, because uh, we certainly want to keep that uh, pliability symmetrical, if that makes sense. Okay, moving on to the calf, um, I always put the roll about halfway down. I come around to the back side um, because we're going to be working pressure against these slots as we do the calf. Uh, basically, hands on top here for support. Again, we want to relax the calf, so we're going to make sure we're relaxing our foot forward uh, so that the calf is not engaged. And we can roll from the bend of the knee uh, down to the Achilles. And this way, after we do the hamstring and the calf, we're getting uh, that entire backside in a relaxed state. And again, after you roll the calf, the left calf, you certainly want to do the right so that we even those out. All right, uh, final phase here is rolling of our quadricep. Uh, key here is we want to have a straight knee whenever we have the foot propped up on the center bar. Um, we have a straight knee, we have a loose quadricep. If we start bending that knee, it gets engaged, and we're trying to work on an engaged muscle, which is not a good thing. So, straight knee, and we just use this like a dough rolling pin, and you can get over on the outside near the IT band, come over to the inside, and work the quad out. And that's how you use a smacker.